Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, where Rallus has just conned me out of another 5,000 gold after killing another band of Draugr in his, in his stupid barrow. Um, and we're heading north because we're going to go hunt Reeklings because we really have nothing whatsoever better to do, unfortunately, other than kill whatever that is that's causing all that commotion over there. So yeah, again, we are continuing our mighty quest to epically kill time until the end of the, uh, the Unearthed quest, at which point we will finally get our skates on and deal with Mirak. Ugh, it feels so damn gamey to do it this way, but what can I say? Oops, I missed, missed it just a little bit. Okay, these guys are a little tougher than the regular Ice Mage slash Fire Mage duo. Aren't you? Fuck, you know. Right, where's me? Necklace of... Resist Frost. There we go. Ouch. A bit of restore uh, fatigue, perhaps. Stamina, whatever you want to call it. Oh, good God. Oh, now the, now the fucking mouse point is on my screen. That's irritating. God damn, that's really irritating. How did that come up there? That wasn't there a second ago. Shit, well, I better kill this guy first. Fucking hell. Testing my patience, you are, young Padawan. Ugh. Fucking Fireomancers. I don't think there's a single entity in this universe I hate more than cryomancers. Staff of Ice Storms, thank you very much. It'll go on the walls as a trophy. And a shaman robe. I've never seen one of them before. Huh. It's kind of cool. God, it looks a bit like me. You know, if 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 I had a really, really dodgy haircut. Uh, what the fuck's that about, eh? Oh, he's supposed to be wearing a shaman cap, except it's bugged down and it's invisible. I see. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, I need to save an exit, I'm afraid, because I've got that bug. You know the one you get sometimes with Skyrim in windowed mode, where you get your, your Windows mouse cursor has now appeared on the screen? Well, yeah, I've got that. It won't show up on the recording, I don't think, but it's there, and it's very irritating. Oh, that's better. Right, now then, let's continue. Northwards, again. I'm getting, I just, oh, I'm getting so sick of running up and down Sod Slime in the minute, actually. Gotta be honest with you guys, it's not a terribly long distance, but, ugh. It's, it's becoming a pain in the bum, frankly. I, you don't have this problem quite so much in regular old Skyrim. Well, one, because you can use, you just use carriages to travel if it becomes a, an issue. Oh god, okay. Um, and also, you you can, there are other routes you can take, you know? Whereas Skyrim, I mean, Soul Slime is so damn small that... Hey, watch it! Idiot. Right, cultists. Well, Wilson, that's not, certainly not good. The cultists are back. Uh, that's super not good. I don't know where they're hiding from out, but they're back. Thought I'd, we'd killed pretty much all of these guys off, but if they're wandering Skyrim, I mean Solsheim again. Why do I keep getting that mixed up? If they're wandering Solsheim again, that probably means we've got work to do. And, um... By work, I don't mean collecting Reekling Spears. Oh, 
Ugh, I'm torn now. I really feel like I should be finishing off this part, the, the, the main quest and defeating Mirak, but this one fucking quest, this unearthed quest, is driving me completely nuts. I'm getting really irritated by it. How many Reekling Spears do I actually have at the minute, anyway? R, R, I have 19 Reekling Spears. Okay, I need 50. So I, I'm not... Well, on the other hand, while I feel like we should be doing it, I, I'm not almost entirely sure if I want to end Chapter 5 just yet. I don't... I, you know, I, you know I, I just don't feel quite ready. 100... I don't... I'm not, not quite there yet. I, I've still got some... I feel like I've still need got still got things to do here on Saltzheim. I don't want to leave just yet. Soon. Not just yet. If you see what I mean. I've sort of got gotten used to the place, if if you know what I mean. I just I'm I'm I wanna get back to Skyrim, but at the same time there's gonna be a bit of a break between, you know, the end of chapter five and the beginning of chapter six, um, probably not as long as the last chapter break, so don't panic. But yeah, um, I don't know. There is still there's still some of Salt Time I've not really seen yet. You know, I mean, look, I mean we've we've pretty thoroughly covered most of it, but still. Um, I kind of want to know what's in Kagramez. I have to be honest. I don't know where to find more of these. Why do I have a custom def destination? Go away. Um, I kind of want to find out what's in Kagramez, but at the same time, I don't know where to find more of these um, resonance gems. So I'm not in the mood for scouring every last sort of corner of the island looking for the re resonance gems. So, you know. Is the world going to stop being green now? It is lovely. I had a bit of an irritating bug earlier where the world would not stop being green and even though I was up on the northernmost frozen tip of the island the world was still green and the air was still warm and pleasant according to this so well here we are let's go in and warm up just just a little bit um, maybe get some lunch remember we don't have realistic in needs and diseases but I still intend to eat me dinner um, although we won't get a fun animation when we do it anymore, which makes me sad, but never mind. Let's have... I made some Ashyam stew earlier, I think. Yeah, Hawker and Ashyam stew, so let's have a bowl of that. There we go. Om nom nom. And, uh, oh, it would have taken away all our water as well, wouldn't it? No more water skins. This makes us a sad Claudius. Oh well, um... I guess on the other hand, Ash Fire Mead isn't going to get us horribly drunk, so, um... <laughs> Let's have some of that. I don't have to worry about crazy visual effects anymore when I'm drinking mead, which is not so bad, I guess. So, let us save the game. And let us continue. Right, well, I suppose the best place to start would be that Reekling Ice Cave... We already went into Ben Conga something or other. Up to the north. We've not actually been down to the very northernmost coast, though, it, it occurs to me. We've been up to, to some cliffs near there, but we haven't actually been on the shore. I kind of want to see it. I want to be able to sort of go all the way out there and then stare into the Sea of Ghosts for a bit. So just uh, it's something I want to do before I leave this place, you know? There we go. Don't know what it is with the, the delayed sounds, but um, that's been a problem on my Skyrim games for, for donkey's years. This game just has weird sound problems. Bright sun. The slightly dodgy sprite. Eagle. Ah. What are you, a saber cat? Yeah. <laughs> Stick hammer in mouth, saber cat dies. It's very simple, guys. In, in case you didn't already know. Um, <laughs> and what? 
Every time with that shout, it does that. It's very odd. I, I don't really give enough of a damn about it, though, to figure out what's wrong. I, I think it's just a sound issue. And to be fair, my, my, my PC has nice specs. At least I hope you'll agree. I certainly did when I got here anyway. It's probably a little outdated now. I, I'd quite like to get a 980 or a 990 instead of the 780 I've got. But the 780 I've got does a damn fine job. So I wouldn't knock it too much. But um, you're going to have real problems with this, Wilson. <laughs> Um, I, I like to hop around the place like a mountain goat, I'm afraid. You'll just have to deal with it. Um, he's dealing with it. Okay. I didn't know you could teleport, but you can. Fair enough. Greg certainly was able to teleport, so you've got one up on him. Anyway, we should get moving because we're getting a little chilly now. Um... Yeah, so normally we go up there, and that leads us to Ben Congarique, or whatever it's called. But we've never been down here before, though, so... Hello, my Arctic Fox. I think I was saying something, and I forgot what it was. It might have been important. Never mind. Going on. Snow bear versus ice wraiths. Sorry, snow bear. We kind of had to come through it this way. I, uh. I don't tell me I have, I have Kind's peace. I didn't need to kill that snow bear. Never mind. I mean, snow bears wandering around near a town, yeah, they probably need to be killed, but. Snow bear minding his own business really up here at the northernmost fucking point of Tamriel. I feel a bit bad about killing him. He really wasn't asking for it. He just finished fighting a freaking ice wraith after all. Never mind. I'll just have to make a mental note of that in future. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Sea of Ghosts. Out there somewhere, I think, is that more. The Lost Continent. Where is North? Yeah, that, that way, specifically. Yep. I always like the northern, co wandering along the northern coast in Skyrim as well. Actually, um, it's just a region of the, of the world I'm, I'm quite fond of for some reason. Uh, it's a very calm sea, isn't it? <laughs> I've just noticed. What's this then? I think it might be a cave. Oh, jolly good. Pearl oyster. More pearl oysters. Spiky grass! Wonderful. Yeah, we're getting a little chilly now, aren't we? Things are starting to blur. East Empire Company Strongbox. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're close. Oh, now we're not. Oh, sweet. There we go. Amethyst, East Empire Pendant, Emerald, Health Potion, Septims. Jolly good. Alright then, Wilson. We shall enter the Glacial Cave and see what awaits us. Probably Reeklings. Yeah, I'm thinking definitely Reeklings. God, Ice Caves do look cool. <laughs> Pun not intended. Interrupting my attack animations, you little blighters. You none of, none of you are carrying freaking spears. Oh, you are. Good. I was getting a bit worried there. I was like, how am I going to find Reekling spears? Oh, in their little huts, apparently. Oh, is this it? Oh, never mind then. Wait, Karstag Skull. Hello. Now that's a that's a relic from a from days gone by. Karstag Skull added. Um. Well, I'll be damned. 
How did it end up embedded in that rock? It's value 25. Uh, Cast Ag was a frost giant for those who are unfamiliar. From uh, the Blood Moon expansion for Morrowind. And this is his skull. Have we been to Castle Karstag? I don't think we have, you know. I don't think we've been to Castle Karstag. I mean, I think it's still here. I can't believe we've not been to Castle Karstag in this Let's Play. What am I doing? We need to go to Castle Var Friggin' Karstag. God damn. Um, we also kind of need to warm up. The, so there's that. Um, I don't think we've got much firewood there, have we? No, we, we don't. And there aren't any fires in here, just candles, which is very irritating. Well, I know where there is a fire. In, uh, the other ice cave. I cannot bloody believe I was considering leaving Saltstein without having visited Castle Karstag. I am an idiot. <sighs> well, again, I am assuming he's actually there still. Uh, I could be wrong, I suppose, but... I, I, on, at the very least, I can't believe I was belie I was going to leave Saltstein without trying to find Castle Karstag. I know, and this is... This, again, this is me getting completely and utterly out of character and breaking into tourist mode because Claudius has no idea about Castle Karstag and wouldn't know where to find it, but I'm going to go look for it anyway because, fuck it, I'm playing the Dragonborn expansion for the first time and won't be playing it again for a very long time, so... I, I'm going to damn well go find it. Although we are going to duck in this cave up here first, just to warm up and also to farm a few more. Rick thing spears. Such a fucking ridiculous thing. Uh. Come on, you. Uh. Here we are. Note to self, Dave. Actually, maybe consider gathering some firewood before you head out into the wilds. It's a little dark in here, actually. Ah, they seem to have repopulated. These things breed like rabbits. For the more reason, you must be destroyed. And the game crashed. Hooray. Well, I guess it wasn't realistic needs and diseases that was the problem. So I have now disabled wet and cold. Let us continue. Septums, and I shall have your septums. Ugh. And I shall have your spears. That's what I'm really looking for, after all. Oh, that's not. Oh, ebony stat, ebony ingot, and and a debella statue. Odd. Eh, whatever. Um. I thought those were usually just quest items. Fine. Things spears. Where are you? You're, are you up on this? Ah, there you are. Yes, take that, ugly little creature. Now then. Reekling spears, reekling spears, reekling... 40, I need 10 more. Very well. I've noticed my version of Frostfall is actually slightly out of date. Um, I have 
2.5, whereas 2.6 is the latest one. Um, so, fa failing this, wet and cold being the problem, I will try and update Frostfall and see what that what happens then. If it still happens, I'll try disabling Frostfall, and if it still happens, then I don't know. Really? <laughs> I might just have to deal with it, I guess. As irritating as it is. It just the problem is the problem is really I like I said I'd be able to put up with it probably if I was just playing by myself but the fact that I'm not playing by myself and I actually have an audience makes a big difference because it means that the more it happens the more it pisses me off and the more my commentary suffers as a result if I'm getting irritated um you know so but whatever. I just, I just, I don't, just don't get it honestly because I'm using mods which I've seen plenty of other people use, you know, and they've had no problems whatsoever, and yet I get crashes every fucking session I record. I just don't, I don't, just don't understand. I don't understand what it is I've done wrong. I don't mean that in the sense of mor morally wrong, I just mean what I've done wrong in terms of my installation. I don't get it. The last two installations I've done have been like this. Even though I've done everything by the book, so to speak. You have spears for me? You have five, which means I only need five more. Ah, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Ouch. God. Those traps. I say ouch, but look at my health. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. And, uh... They are quite fun traps, though. They're nicked straight out of Conan the Barbarian, by the way, but they're, they're still kind of cool. Oh, no spears for me. Another Devala statue. I'm going to end up with a collection of these bloody things. Two Rigling spears. I need three more. How do they bury themselves in the ice like that? That's ridiculous. What do we have? Oh my god. We found the freaking city of the Reeklings here. There we go, we've got enough arrow I mean spears. But we have to kill these guys first, I think. I think I have enough spears, don't I? Bring 50 Rickling Spears to Hilland. Let me just check that. Rickling Spears, Rickling... 62 Rickling Spears. Yep, we're good. Oh, you little bastard. Well, we've come this far. I kind of feel like I should continue to the end. This is like the third time we've been in here, after all. Is there another one still alive in here? Good grief. Oh, sod him. Sod him. Sod him. Sod him. Sod him and his battle music that keeps repeating. Leather boots. No clothes, though. <laughs> Okay. How do you burst out of solid cobblestone? That makes you cheating bastards. We have laws of physics for a reason. Seriously. Solid stone floor. How are you bursting out of it? Quicksilver. Huh. 
Mm, all right. Expert iron door. What's in there? A chest. Ugh. Ah. Uh. Oh, so goddamn close. Look at that. There we go. What do we have here? Uh, just generic treasure. Oh, and a key. That's more interesting. Dragon language, myth no more. Dragon, the very word conjures it nightmare ta images of shadowed skies, hideous roaring and endless fire. Indeed, the dragons were terrifying beasts that were once as numerous as they were deadly. They weren't mindless beasts, though. dum dee dum dum Start hearing rumors, you have to do a conversation, brave explorer, always the same word repeated, wall. Throughout Skyrim, ancient dungeons, burial grounds, other secluded places, there are walls, right, she's talking about word walls then. Transcribe the following passage. Signing those scratching scratch or Tamaric language characters, I further translate my sword into this. Hetnok Ingevar Ing Ingvar Gaff Kudav Wodreya Moron <laughs> Alfrod Docrosis Nuz Sinon Siv Dinok Ark Dukan translates into the Tamrielic as follows Here lies Ingevar Ghostbear, who did seek glory on the battlefield of sorrows, but instead found death and dishonor. Then in another crypt I encountered a wall with this transcription. Which ultimately translates into the Tamrielic as Here lies the body of Iglif Iceblood, who met his end not in glorious combat, but at the cruel touch of his of the withering sickness. And there you see the pattern, the repeated words here lies, which could only mean one thing, those walls marked actual ancient Nord burial grounds. Uh, do, 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 do. Find that was well reward for my efforts. Here's what I discovered. This passage translates into here fell the treacherous thief, Scorgy Leechfingers, whose head was removed by the very axe he was attempting to steal. Uh, do do this passage translates into this stone commemorates the doomed elf children of the autumn field who fled in terror from the sharp swords of the ancient enemy. This all seems to commemorate some ancient, long forgotten event in Tamrielic history, whether that event occurred on or near the place where the wall was erected, we will probably never know. And finally, this passage translates into Aesir raised this stone for her sister Th Thohild the Inferno, whose passion burned hot as the Red Forge. This wall, and I encountered quite a few like this, was obviously commissioned or built by a specific person to honour someone important to them. What was the significance of the location? What Was it important to the person who died, or is it the actual location of the person's death? And again, those answers are probably lost to time and will never be known. So you see, the ancient dragon language is indeed myth no more. It existed, but yet it still exists. I know guide to translating it, then. Pfft. Screw you. I'll take that quill worth 100 gold. <laughs> Interesting, you know, I'd never really considered that the, all those word walls might actually have something written on them that means something. I really, just for whatever reason, I just never paid any attention to it. And now I'm kind of curious. Oh my. Have we hit? we have star rim for all that good that does I, I'm, I'm kind of lots of valuable quills as well um, I, I kind of got more than enough star rim at this point honestly um, I don't actually need any more now 
I'm just picking up reeking spears out of habit. <laughs> Imp stools, thank you. Good work, Wilson. Damn fine work, sir. Silver ingot. And some garlic in a bucket. How curious. These not barrels I can open? I guess not. Um, this is, though. It's a fish barrel. Containing lots of fish. Can I be bothered? I might as well. Okay. Oh, not a good start. But also not a terrible start, either, because we found the sweet spot almost. There we go. Ha, sweet. Excellent. I have to I have to really offer some thanks to the, the uh, ladies and gentlemen of the audience who have actually offered me tips on my lock picking and help to help me improve it a bit. And it seems to have mostly worked, honestly. Um Oh, we've got an old fashioned ancient Nordic puzzle, jolly good. What do we got then? Dolphin <laughs> a good old fashioned, ridiculously simple ancient Nordic puzzle. Oops, missed it. Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, this one doesn't have a mount. Has the mount fallen off? Been moved somewhere? I wager it probably has. But there's only one that's missing one, so I guess we can probably just do this through trial and error, so that's fine. Um, let's see. Oh, it's already at the bird, so let's try that. I smell word wall, by the way. Nope. Let's try snake. No good. Let's try dolphin. Or uh, whale, which is what it really is supposed to be, I think. There we go. We did search everything here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Hello, word wall. Give me your secrets. I'll have to come a bit closer, will I? Okay. Wind Cyclone! What do you think of that, Wilson? I don't have any Warhammer. I will take it for melting down. Although it's bloody heavy. Ow. Uh, uh, yeah. Ow? That's what I'm about. Yeah, Ebony War Bye bye, Ebony Warhammer. I'm sorry, but you, you're just too damn heavy. You really are. Um. Okay. Oh, that, that must be the way out. Cyclone! Magic. How many souls do I have? One dragon soul. Oh, damn. I need to save that for the final word of, 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 uh, you know, bend will. Ah! Verdammt! And yeah, I know that even, even though the game will probably give me another dragon soul, just to make sure I can use the final word of bend will when, I, when that moment comes, um, uh, oh, hello, that doesn't look good, um, even though it probably will do that, yeah, uh, eh, role playing guys, I, uh, Claudius doesn't know that, so he needs to reserve a dragon soul, uh, God knows how he knows well, how many dragon souls he's got, he isn't exactly carrying around them around with him in a bag or something, is he, but, you know, and, oh yes, this is another black book, wonderful. All right, Wilson. What you're about to see is a little odd, but uh, I, I've, uh, it's just it's it's totally normal, honestly. An inverted commas normal. Untold legends. I didn't think there are any more of these damn things left, but we found another one. I hope it's not very long. Back into Apocrypha, we go. Oh, it looks like it might be a long one. Uh, I don't suppose, no. Uh, you didn't come with me. Well, that makes sense. At least. Although I could call my horse in here, I just <laughs> suddenly realised. 
I probably anyway. I don't know if the horse caller's horn works, but it might do. Open chapter two. Is it odd that I can still hear Wilson's clanking even though he's not here? I think I'm going mad. Okay, we've got two ways forward, it would seem. Well, let's try the left first. gonna ignore me? Yeah, over here, dumbass. Ah. More. There's a bolt, you bastard. Cheeky beggar. Oh my god. There's a few of you, isn't there? Just just a few. I think I'm shooting the right one here. Yes I am. Scroll of Blizzard, Spell Tome, Books. He had a ball, eh? Uh -huh. I know what that's about. It just reminded me of something. Which I'm not going to discuss because it's not relevant, but uh, anyway. It's not Ad Adabal, is it, though? It's Adabal, I think. That's how you pronounce it. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Alright, then. Well, what precisely has that achieved? Azidal's descent. Azidal! Relevant! I shall read that later. Um, what else we got? The rear guard? Oh, I thought it might have been a spell book. Advances and lock picking. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Fine. The gold ribbon of merit? Uh, I remember it. Finding that one in ages ago, almost chapter one, I think. Locked a pod. Okay. With a conventional lock on it by Jingo. Oh, come on. Fool. Patience. Young lock picking Padawan. Patience. Ugh. Turn the fuck on! How? C oh! I swear to God, there is no sweet spot for this thing. There we go. Ugh. Almost worth it. Now, what is that done? Ah, it's opened this. Excellent. 
there anything over there? There is something over there, it's just not open. Maybe you have to open, however. Yeah, it is. There we go. Daedric Shield. Wow. I... Wow. Well, we need to drop something. That much is certain. But, uh... Bloody hell. It's evil. I mean, it's Daedric. I mean, I suppose it's not evil in and of itself, but... I don't think that's something Claudius wants to be using. And everyone now is not going to lose their shit because I'm deliberately not using a Daedric item. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's not how I roll. That's cool, and I'm taking it because it's going on a wall somewhere, I've decided, but... Um, yeah, we're not using it. This, though, is good. It's not, not that much worse than the, the Daedric one, either. Um... But yeah, no, yeah, we're gonna need to drop something, that much is sure. What if I put on Zacrisos? We are still over encumbered. Sort everything by weight. Everything. Every single thing. I guess it's the firewood. Sorry, firewood. What do we have here? Uh, fucking hate this place. Sentinel, could you kindly come out of your, your pool of tentacles, please? Please? Do I need to encourage you to come out of your pool of tentacles? There we go. Dealt with. Ring of Renewal. Ooh! Nice! I think that's better than the one I'm wearing now. Ring of ah, there's a ring of remedy, but I also have the ring of invigoration, which I'm now going to get rid of, and then and add the ring of renewal. Stamina regenerates 50% faster. Hell yes. Look at that! It regenerates so quickly. That's awesome. Wait a minute. Does this thing move to uh, the other side? I see. I have to kill another lurker sentinel. Gotcha. Whoops. Wrong shout. Um, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. It recharges pretty fast. Oops, fuck that up. Meant to foos Rodar and failed miserably. Damn. I was hoping it might disintegrate him. My god, the game really does feel a lot easier now, doesn't it? <laughs> Circle of extreme illusion. Right. Oh, come on! One fucking circle was enough to do that. Ah. Uh. Right. 
Oh, my precious ebony ingots. No. Moonstone. Fine. And I will keep Karstag's skull, goddammit. And the Debella statues. <laughs> and I'll eat a horse haunch. There you go. They're moving on. Um... Now, this is open, but what has it actually achieved? Is that going to make this stay still? I hope it does. Yes, it is. There we go. Ah, here we go. Alrighty then. Show me your secrets. Black Market, Secret Servant, Bardic Knowledge. Summons a Dramora merchant to trade with you. You may only accept one ability from this book at a time. Summons a Dramora butler to carry your excess items. Summons a spectral drum that plays for you, increasing stamina regeneration for you and nearby allies. Oh my god. Okay. Um, that's tempting. I mean, I've got a load, a load of crap, haven't I? Alright then. <laughs> Is that.? Oh, that's just a really weird shaped book that's playing havoc with my sense of perspective. Ugh. Um, right. I've got to try this. I've got to try this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Country Wear Bear Black Market. Right. mortal who seeks to bargain with me. I have some things to sell. Let's make a deal. Oh, this is this feels really evil actually now you mention it, but uh, <laughs> steel plate helmet of major illusion, ebony warhammer, ebony short bow of annihilating. Whoa. That's expensive. That's like Morrowind levels of expensive crap. Um Theodric arrows, ebony, bl straight up blank ebony armor with no, um, what do you call it? No magic effect. Oh, that's tempting. That's very tempting. Well, right then. Well, let's get started. How much gold does he have? Two thousand. Uh, I want to keep that. Um. Dum dee dum 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 Ring of Peerless Archery. Actually, now I need to remember to use that. Um, diamond, gold diamond ring. Emeralds. Oops! Staff of Mending. I, I kind of wanted that, never mind. Uh, I, I keep finding them all over the place anyway, so. Necklace of Mind Damage Resistance. Nah. Sapphires. What else? Empty black stone. Oh, he's already out of gold. Well, that's rubbish. I do so love dealing with mortals. Well, that was convenient, but what would be more convenient is actually to have this. Honestly. I've given up on actually bothering to sell stuff to merchants at this point, so, you know. On the other hand. Where are they? Secret servant, there you are. Might as well hop. key this, I guess. Hey, Reddit, whatever. It's been centuries. <laughs> I'd like you to carry some things. I always dreamt of being a pack. <laughs> a moral butler. This is insane. <laughs> Alright, then you can have these. Um <laughs> You can have these, you can have that, sure as hell. And that. Oh, this is class. It really is. You can have the, the wolf sword. Oh, I've, still, I've still got huge carrying capacity problems, even though I'm really not 
cart around anything particularly huge other than just a multitude of potions and um, random bits of junk, I guess. You have my ebony ingots, I guess. Silver ingot, ebony ore. Curious silver mold, which I still can't get rid of because it's a fucking quest item for a quest I will never be doing. <sighs> And the Glare Moral Witch's head. It's probably a console to get a command to get rid of both of those, but never mind. Um, my Dumax, my Heralds, my Fragments of Wuthrad, that's another one. I don't want to get rid of the Fragments of Wuthrad, though. I just want to put them back in the Companions Hall, you know, in your Vasker. I don't want to delete them from, from existence, on the other hand, you know. That'll do for now, I get I suppose. Most of it must be like all of these. I guess. Why do I still pick up magic potions? <laughs> I don't know. Uh Carry weight potion, which I am never going to use. Uh, cast deck skull. Yeah, you can have that. Oh, quest item. Oh, I see. Interesting. Um, develop statues then. What else? Got a bunch of circlets, haven't I? Or have I already given them to him? Or sold them? I think I have. Alright. I guess I'll do for now. I don't want to give my cooking pot another 10 just in case I can't summon him for a while after this. Um, yeah, I guess that will do. Oh, my food probably weighs a fair bit. Thingy wants his notes on Kagramans, you can have them too. And that. I'm, I'm carrying a lot of Ashfire mead as well, I noticed. Um Okay, that'll do. I'll be going now. Cool. Very cool. Alright then. Uh, where's the book? Where's the book? Where's the book? Untold Legends, there we are. Ah, hello again, Wilson. Okay, well, let's be leaving. I gotta got say, black books are kind of, kind of irritating to do, but they do have some very nice rewards. They really, really do. Do I have my night vision on? Yes, it's just super dark in here, wow. Uh, oh, hello. Treasure chest. With a novice lock for some reason. Okay. And we're all the way back here, and that, this, that was the point of this little passagey thing here. Right, got it. Um... Wilson, out of the damned way, you stupid thing. Come on, down the bloody passage, wait, you moron. There we go. All right, are we nice and toasty warm? We are good. Okay, so I suppose we might as well head back to Thursk, I guess. I, w I would have head headed back home to dump my stuff off, but um, the Dramora butler seems to have handled that particular issue for me, uh, as, a, as a matter of fact. 
Bones of the Earth? Did I just see Bones of the Bones of the Earth? What does Bones of the Earth do? I've forgotten. <laughs> Ignores 80% of all physical damage for 30 seconds. Wow, nice. Um, that's for the Earth Stone. Gotcha. Uh, where's my thingy, thingy, redoodle thing? There we go. All right then. Well, I'm gonna stop recording now, I guess. And I will see you guys. Actually, no, screw it. I want to get back to Thirsk first, and then I'll stop recording. And because I have no idea how long I've been recording for, this may now be the end of an episode anyway, but in which case, bye! But if not, then... Welcome back. <laughs> so... And if it was the end of an episode, then welcome back, yeah. Um, to, to Let's play Skyrim, where I'm on my way back to Thirsk. So I can stop recording. <laughs> Um, whatever. Um, this... Is this the way home? I don't think so. Maybe if we were going to the Skull Village. But not Thirsk. Thirsk is this way. Yeah, well, oof, no, we really don't need night vision. Yeah, outdoors. A little unnecessary dungeons, yeah, fine. Not out here though. Uh, it really should be darker out here at night, I suppose. But how uh, would require installing more mods, not less. So for for now, we're just going to leave it. Um. Well, win sprint. Well, win sprint. What? Here we are. Hello, Thirsk. Yes, yeah, so let's get inside, warm up. Have a nice bit of dinner. Something to drink, some more mead. And, uh... Chill. Because we've earned it. We've been all over the place today. Up, down the island, from top to bottom. We've been back into Apocrypha and out again. Yeah. On the whole, pretty good. Ugh. There we go. We'll feel warm. I do like the outfit, Claudius, I've got to say. I do like the outfit. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh! Uh, there you are. Right, I've got your reading spears. It wasn't pretty. Now I can rest properly, it should all be going better. Just one more mug of mead, and then I'm off. I've got a lot of reekling spears, I hope it's enough. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Give them here, and I'll get to work soon. See ya. There you go. Right. Yes, okay then, well, we're gonna rest and eat and drink and be merry for a while, in, in spite of us whole stupid bastard over there in the corner. Um, and I will join everybody, and by everybody I mean you the viewers, in the morning. Ta-ta.